You can imagine when these were fresh buildings and this was a fresh and important vibrant area for those major European countries. This area would have looked big. But this building with its dual colors would have looked impressive all the time as it does now, I think. It's an interesting old building, second floor. Interesting bit of sculpture. I wonder if it's European. A young woman playing a lute. She doesn't look oriental. An older building, I have no idea what its function is. Several blocks away I was getting this strange smell, a chemical smell. At first I thought it was the smell of burning plastic, but then I learned that it's the smell of this paint, whatever it is they're using. It must be some kind of an industrial enamel. An interesting sculpture. You can't, she's reading a book of course, but you can't be sure whether she's holding her hands up to her head just as a uh, reflex for thinking or whether she is surprised and excited by the content of what she's reading. You hope it's the latter. The beefy thighs and legs suggest it's a European woman. I've been walking all the way down here for the purpose of finding the original Japanese legation building, which is supposed to be opposite the British legation building, but I can't find them for sure. A building down here on the left, I think, may be that Japanese building, but the one across the street certainly is not what I think is being referred to as the British location building. That's the one I'm thinking it might be. And it's kind of pretty. It has some pretty little uh, cupola things there, or tower. This is a pretty little flower bed. Obviously a setting all along here for neighbors uh, with certain interests um, gathering. This gray building at 19 Dojimeng Zhang is the former French post office and now is the site of the Jingyuan Sichuan restaurant. You see a little remnant of that. These pillars are looking official. And probably those doorways were entrances into important sections of the post office. There were four here. And the upstairs went to who knows where. Notice the decoration on the ceiling. And that was probably a huge skylight. Well, large. Some floral detail, but I don't think the floor to leave. This is number 15, I think the entrance to the French legation in the old days. One can only imagine what this entrance way was for, and maybe that was all it was. Looks like it would be a rear entrance. There are the twin spires of the St. Joseph Catholic Church. St. Michael's Church, founded by a French priest. Surprising this still exists after the Cultural Revolution and probably several of the other revolutionary events that have taken place since 1904. This is very interesting. It probably uh, has that brown color because at one time it actually allowed water to flow down through there, I'm guessing. But interesting to imagine how that was built, whether it's natural or made of natural stone or, or what. Is the plant growing?
Apparently this is the ornate brickwork that he's referring to. And behind that wall is the former Belgian legation that looks like some interesting window work all obscured by the wall and you can't see the green tile roof he's referring to. So additional uh, brickwork and architectural features way up high but you can't see much in between. You wonder when and why they decided to brick over the face there. Thought I'd detour from my Hutong walk this afternoon to the Beijing Railroad Station so I can get a feel for I was about to say I was the only Caucasian around. That guy ruined my record. And I'm not mentioning that guy. And that guy there. This is very much so a Chinese place upscale. The silk store is obviously designed to sell the Europeans since it's got everything in the panels below and the panels above in English. Some old kind of graphics like camera on an amazing stand I haven't seen before. It has bellows and it works on that track. Probably a studio type thing. <coughs> Not something you carry into the field, I don't imagine. Interesting. Probably this handle here and this one here. Controlled elevation as well as angle upward or downward. And then maybe this did the same thing. Hmm. Interesting old wagon wheel. Lots more spokes than we've traditionally had, and with a wider wood base and lots of metal on it for some reason. I wonder what those are for. Theoretically, you make them more rigid, but I'll bet you it caused the wood to break down faster. <clears throat> now you can see how the metal rim was held in place screwed on or nailed in. I can't tell which that is. This looks like an old grinding wheel but with a twist it's got grooves in it to create more of a grinding effect. I came to the hutongs to walk around and um, saw this uh, at a vendor's place to eat. It looked kind of interesting. I have no clue what was inside of it but I think it's spinach that's inside of it. It's very very good. And here's how they make what I just ate. Uh, I think she rolls out little uh, dough thingies. And then she takes a mixture, puts it inside. Ah, and he pats them down with the filling inside. She puts the filling in and he pats them all down. And he cooks them on this little fryer. And then here's a whole pile of them here. I don't know what the mixture is. This is what I think I have, which I think is spinach. Very good. And this I think is some kind of meat. I don't know what that is.
and he pulls that top down, it becomes like a waffle iron. At least I'm going to do this. Since they let me um, what, video what they were doing, and because these are really good, I'm getting one. And this she gave me, I don't know what it is, it's a soy sauce, so let's see what it is.